Well, this year has offered more twists and turns in the Crystal Rogers Bardstown murder case than any of us could have ever expected. And that means the popular Bardstown podcast following this case is back with a brand new season. The host of that podcast and WHS 11 anchor Shay McAllister is here with all the details. Shay, I'm so happy you could stop by and kind of give us a preview of this. I mean, this has been a story every week that I see you. I, I think I immediately say, Shay, what in the world? I know, I know. And do you think that too? Yes, they're keeping us busy <laughs> okay. down in the Bardstown courtrooms. I can tell you that. Unreal. There is a new bombshell being dropped every week in court documents, in court, from the attorneys, um, in all directions. And that's why we thought this is time to bring yeah, back the podcast. I was say, it, it's a perfect true crime podcast anyway are so popular, but this really can kind of feed so well. How will this kind of weave into the existing podcast? Okay, so if you listen to season one of Bardstown, you know about the five unsolved cases. It's yeah. Crystal Rogers, Tommy Ballard, Jason Ellis, and the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. So since then, we dropped that in 2019. It's been a few years. This picks up where we left off, and that's with major developments in one of the cases and hints at developments in other cases. And so well, is there anything in the podcast that maybe we haven't heard you report on yet? Are you saving some nuggets and some surprises for the podcast only? I think there will be surprises mostly okay. because in TV news, we can only cover, you know, two or three minutes of something. And on the podcast, we have 30 minute episodes. So you're hearing more from the courtroom, more from interviews, more from court documents and new interviews you haven't heard before. Um, only on the podcast. Right, it's it's so true. When you cover something and you're like, okay, you got a minute and a half or mm -hmm. two minutes to cover a story, that doesn't even cover it because that's that's what really people want to hear, all those those nitty gritty details. This gives us that opportunity. Yeah, uh, are you, you probably are not surprised at all by the success of, of this podcast. Are you, are you surprised that people wanted it back so soon and want more and more episodes? No, I mean, I think the story is just so engaging. It's so hard to believe and yeah. More than that, this community is so invested in justice. Yeah. You know, this community really wants to see the families of these victims get answers and they're rooting for those answers. And so I think they're, you know, they're hopeful that we're gonna provide some of that in the podcast and we certainly try to. So, so much of some of the new episodes will focus on Crystal Rogers. Are you starting to see, just even in, in your reporting, kind of a breakdown and an opening um, of information on all the other cases? Are they starting to come together? Because that's what everybody's thinking. Is it, look, look y'all, we know this is all connected. We know, we know. Mm -hmm. Is it starting to come together that way? In some senses, yeah. yes. And, and there's even been mentions of the Tommy Ballard case and the Jason Ellis case in the last year in courtrooms and in court documents. So those ones, we see the ties already. Yeah. Um, the Netherlands case is still not connected at all as far as what we can see. But the other ones, there's definitely pieces. Um, do people email you all the time with information? Yes. After they listen to a podcast that there's a little bit of information that you're like, oh my goodness, this is actually very helpful to the investigation. Yes, and I don't know how helpful it is. I always tell people when they send me something, go to the yeah. FBI, yeah. report it on the FBI. It's crystalrogerstaskforce.com um, because of course I'm a journalist. Right. So I'm reporting on the facts, I'm reporting on the information as we get it, but I'm not working to you know solve these cases like the investigators. You're not on the case. Yeah. You're not on date on NBC yet yeah. <laughs> to kind of piece it all together. Well, Shay, thank you so much for um, uh, connecting all the dots for us and telling sure. it in such a compelling, meaningful way. Uh, this drops on our YouTube channel today. Yes. Yeah. So everywhere you listen to podcasts tomorrow, Tuesday the 26th is our official launch date. But if you just can't wait today at noon, mm. it's going to be on our YouTube page. Again, thank you for keeping us up to date in Barstown, Kentucky. Really appreciate it again. Uh, so the new episodes drop every Tuesday, wherever you listen to podcasts. Of course, that release will come out today at noon on the YouTube channel.